Hey everyone, my name's Slick, welcome to another video. This isn't gonna be like my typical video. Today we're gonna go over my in-game settings. We're gonna go over the graphics, the game, the UI. If it's in the settings menu, we're gonna cover that today. Now before we continue, if you'd be so kind as to hit the bell and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it, thank you. So we're gonna start off at highest, uh, and then we'll adjust the graphics from there so you can know what I change uh, to get my game to look how it does. I will preface this that I do run the game at 1440p and I do have a 3080. Um, keep in mind that these these are the settings that work for my system. I don't have any frame rate issues when I run them, um, but you may have to adjust accordingly to keep that consistent frame rate. The first thing that I'm going to change is I'm going to turn this off the real time optimization. Essentially, what this does is it's going to lower your graphics to keep you at a consistent frame rate. So if you're in a huge battle, expect your game to start looking crappier as your frame rate lowers. If you want to keep it looking nice, uh, regardless of frame rate, go ahead and turn this off. Brightness Gamma, I prefer to keep this around 1.7. I lower this down because I prefer having a darker game. You you may like it brighter, you may, may like it darker, but this setting is what worked best for my monitor. The next thing we're going to change is the character display quantity. I put this at no restriction. Everything else here, I leave the same, except for the uh, monster death. I put this at low or normal. Usually keep that at normal. Everything else here, I keep it as it is. Character display distance, I have this all the way up, but I do change the character effects down to 0.5. Uh, this should help keep your frame rates higher. Display pets, I keep this as the display nearby pets only. This is another frame rate thing. Background display distance, I keep this all the way up. I also keep all of these on. The vegetation display distance though, I do put this at 0.5. The shadow display, I also put this at 0.5. Uh, I keep the house installation display. Uh, anything with the house, I keep all the way up because your house is an instance. Lighting, keep this all the way up. Everything else here, I don't touch any of this. My post processing. So you can turn your shield indirect light on. I like to do this. I just think it looks nice. I do turn off depth of field and motion blur though. Uh, depth of field is going to make the game blurry when you blurry around an object when you're focusing on something motion blur just you know when you're turning left and right it's going to be blurry i prefer not to have that setting anti-aliasing you can keep this on high or very high i don't notice much of a change here i prefer to do very high though and i do not run a filter i keep this on no filter so I don't know if you noticed much of a change, but the game did change a little bit. Uh, I got a little darker, the lighting changes. Uh, but yes, this is what I'm running when I'm going around Elyon. So my sound, let's go ahead and go over my sound here. Uh, I have my overall volume low just because of recording and streaming and things like that. That's just my preference. Uh, my background music, I have this off and my environment sounds, I also have those off. Sound effects, I keep the same. I keep my skill volume at the same default, but I do lower other character skills to point or to 50. Impact sounds, I keep mine the same, but I also lower characters impact sounds again. Uh, the voices, I keep mine the same, other characters I turn down, and the NPC voice, I turn those completely off. Uh, sometimes you'll be sitting in game going through your inventory and if you're next to an NPC, they'll just keep saying the voice lines over and over and over. Um, I just prefer to have that off. All UI things, I have those off um, I don't like the system, uh, I don't like the system talking, or I also don't like whenever I'm interacting with something, it just does that sound. Uh, I prefer to minimize how many sounds are in the game. <clears throat> Keep my whisper notifications on, and I also mute when it's in the background. So let's go over my game settings. Uh, camera zoom speed, I keep that default. Uh, I did lower the mouse sensitivity, this is just preference. Uh, camera field view of view correction. If this is not on one, I recommend you putting it at one, especially if you want to see more around you. If you put this up to 100, it's going to zoom you in just a little bit more. These these combat settings are for if you're wanting to, uh, this is to select yourself. This, this helps you to easily select yourself um, with spells if you're trying to cast them on yourself. Uh, I didn't touch much of these. I did change the camera effects though, lower this all the way down. Camera vibration, sensitivity, turn that, or intensity, turn that all the way down, radio blur all the way down. I turned off screen shake. I do not like the constant screen shake whenever I would be in dungeons or be around other players. Um, these, I, I keep these on. I enjoy seeing things going on. Going on. <clears throat> other settings, these are on by, 
by default. Um, you can I turn these off. I don't I don't need any of the recommendations. But if you are new to the game, you can leave these on. Feel free, and it'll it'll give you skills that you can use in your rotation. This is just so I can sort my inventory without the game bothering me. I sort my inventory all the time. Every time I get a new item, I click sort. It's just a habit. Going under the UI, uh, in the UI, uh, there are some things that I changed. I display, I removed displaying my speech bubble. I don't want to see that. Uh, it's, I know what I said, you know, I don't need to see that. Uh, other players and NPCs speech bubbles, I keep that. I turn off the name, title, and clan for myself. Um, I do keep cast engage and battle visibility on. I like to, you know, of course, see when the spell is going to be done. Uh, friendly players, I have this off typically. Um, this will automatically turn back on when you go into arenas, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. Again, cast engage and battle visibility on. These are important. Player hostile, I have this on. I have everything on for hostile players, and I have them to always show HP and skill energy. Uh, I believe that is very important to see that information at all times. NPCs, I removed their grade. Um, I kept their title and everything else, uh, but typically, uh, whenever I'm doing cinematics, I'll turn all of this, I'll turn as much of this off as I can. NPCs, just default. Uh, I don't need to always see what their health are or th what their health is. If I'm fighting them, I'll see them. There are pings in the game, if you didn't know. Uh, the ping system, if you hold Alt and click, left click is this system right here. Uh, this will ping anybody that's in your party by default. You can swap who you're pinging to with this, and this will ping in that uh, in that channel. So for displaying the HP and skill energy, I display all. I like to see the number and the percentage. Uh, that's just personal preference. I, I do prefer that. The additional item quick slots. So if you enable this, you will have two extra rows on the left side. Uh, this is default area. You can move this around as you want. Um, each of these can be assigned in your key bindings. Keep in mind you can only put other items in here. You can't put uh, you can you can only put things like this. You can't put skills here. This is not an extra skill hotbar. This is if you want to use an item quicker or anything like that. UI blur effects that's off for me and display pet name that is also off. <clears throat> so the UI the edit the UI edit the only thing I really adjusted here is I moved my status effects up. Uh, I prefer to have them closer to the center of the screen so I can pay attention to what's going on. I'd probably end up moving these up even higher and moving maybe the target panel lower. Let's move on to key bindings. Uh, you can essentially bind anything in this game. These are the additional item slots. You can bind all 16 of them and you can even bind your skill presets if you want to change those on the fly. Along with that, you can also bind pretty much every other menu in the game that's up here on the buttons and others as well. Uh, around the map and everything else. One more thing I do want to touch on. Um, I did edit my UI size. Uh, the UI was rather large for my liking. It was about like this for defaults. Um, I didn't like this, so I went ahead and lowered mine and uh, I definitely like it this way better. That's gonna be it for this video. Um, I know it was quick. This isn't typically what I do. Um, I'm definitely out of my comfort zone here, but I hope this uh, overview of my settings will help you in any way. Um, if you have any questions on anything I went over or any comments, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I'm currently working on a zero to 35 video where I'm playing back through the game with the knowledge that I have now to let you know what I would do to remain the most efficient going through that process. Um, this is going to be very helpful for those who want to make alts and they want to do it the most efficient way. Um, after that, I'll continue to do a 35 to 38, 38 to 40, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so look out for those videos. That's currently what I'm working on right now. So expect that to be the next upload. As always, I want to thank you very much for your time. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a like. If you want to keep up to date with Elyon content and guides, hit the subscribe button and also the bell. Thank you very much. Happy grinding on Elyon, guys. Peace.